stop, take a moment, go get your favorite brew, and join me on this next video. Welcome back. It's good to be outside. It's a nice warm day. It's a little bit of a breeze, so that's not bad. I am looking at taking care of this tree right here. Uh, it's a dead ash tree. It's pretty good size, and I want to drop it. The one thing is, is that I want to do this instead of with a chainsaw, I want to do it with traditional ax and a crosscut saw. So I'm hoping you'll join me on this. One of the things that we need to be careful about is, is where that tree is going to drop. So one of the ways that you can do that is to take a, a straight stick that you have, any kind of a, a straight edge that you may have, and you put that to the top of that tree and then put your thumb at the base of that tree and then lay it down and you'll have a good idea where that tree is going to drop. And so that gives us a pretty good idea how far it's gonna be out there. And now we need to be careful not to hit any of our little saplings that we have growing back there. So once we get it uh, all set up and I get in there, one of the things we're going to have to do is get a, a brush axe and tear into that because there's a bunch of underbrush around that tree. And then we'll get to chopping and sawing and drop it. So hopefully this will be entertaining and safe. Here's all the brush we tore down from around that tree. Right over here is a little ash tree that I don't think we'll reach when it falls, because I want it to fall on this brush pile so all the top branches that break off will end up here and this eventually will be burned as it gets dried out. There is a walnut tree right there I want to maintain and there's a walnut tree right here. So I want to shoot for landing right between them. The tree is pretty sparse up top so I'm really hoping to have pretty good aim there is also a nice little oak tree right here that I don't want to hit and I think it's far enough out of the way that we should be all right these are the tools we're going to be using I've already used the the brush axe up there at the top you, clear some of this stuff then there is the five pound um, plum double bit axe I want to use it a little bit then there's the three pound plum that I also want to use and then the two pound Norland and then we're going to use this crosscut saw to finish up the felling so we've tried to get this cleared up as best we can so that there's room to move now we need to take and drop it right over there. Most of my equipment is off to the right, but I need to get my chainsaw there and move it over with the quad runner, and then we'll finish up this project. All right, taking a close look at this tree, it seems to be leaning more that direction. 
but all the branches are over here so it's growing up that way but i think i can make it fall this way the good news is there's nothing really around here i've got my equipment out of the way over there as long as my camera doesn't get hit and i can get out of the way it doesn't matter really where it falls but we want to try to drop it right down there so we're going to take a notch out of the tree right here and i just looked at the weather it's 82 degrees of 57 percent humidity so we're going to sweat a little bit the other thing that we need to be cautious of is this is a dead tree it's going to have a lot of branches that could come down or cut loose while chopping on it so we always got to have our safety helmet on so i'm going to get things set up here and we'll start chopping our notch and then go to cutting from the back this tree is at least good probably 30 inches in diameter some parts earlier see right there if it sounds like it's hollow or pithy this sounds pretty hard we'll see what it looks like when we get into we're going to start with the five pound plum double bit axe. You can see it right there, but that's definitely punky. So I'm gonna want to make sure I keep a good solid hinge over here so that it'll come the way I want it to. We got our notch cut up front now we're going to start our back cut you put your put a <clears throat> bug just flew in my mouth so you put a an axe there where you want your saw and you start your back cut and let that be kind of your guide
Well, took some doing, but we finally got it done. So this tree is down. I've just got a couple more to go. This one behind me here is also needing to come down. This one here is a little smaller. The good news is, there's good and bad news. I got it pretty much where I wanted it. Although I did hit this one walnut tree, I think it'll still survive. But that tree, the other walnut tree, and the ash tree both were untouched and so i got it pretty much where i want it now i can cut it up the main part i can use for firewood the sticks and everything i can throw there in the brush pile and we should be in really good shape so thanks for joining us joining me on this i enjoy doing these videos this was a big project and i'm looking forward to how it actually turns out on the video and glad that you have spend some time to join me on this if this is entertaining click the thumbs up give me a like and subscribe share with a friend and i hope to see you on the next video whether it be axes tools or doing something else around the homestead look forward to seeing you then thanks again and god bless